Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Destiny and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to go ahead and start working with a vendor list. And we're going to be listing out all the vendors that we've got from our database onto the front end template. So do make sure to drop a like on this video. If you want to see more video like this, I drop videos almost on a daily basis. And trust me, you're going to enjoy taking tutorials from this channel. And also consider subscribing as it really means the world to me. If you want to get the templates, check out the link in the description below. They should help you get started to get in the template. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Now the first thing I'm going to do as always is go ahead and open up my code editor and I'm going to open up the views.py over here I'm going to open up the views.py and we're going to be writing a simple view that's going to um, list out all the vendors that we've got and it's going to you know we're going to keep it on a template and display it on our site so let's go ahead and start doing that now the first thing I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to come over here just down here over here and we're going to define a new function and this one is going to be vendor view okay and take note, you can also, you know, follow this, this that we've got over here. So we need to create a new one. And this one is going to be, we can say vendor list view. Now I'm going to pass in request in there and I need to get the vendor. So I'm going to say vendor should be equal to vendor dot objects. Then I'm simply going to pass in, just give me a sec. I want to get something Then I'm going to pass in all. Okay. So after that, I'm going to say context should be equal to, and I'm going to pass in the vendor. Hopefully I'm not going to be making too much explanations now because I've really explained all this. We're kind of like repeating ourselves now, as you guys can see, return render. And I'm going to pass in requests and then the template is going to be call slash vendor dash list dot html or you could just call it vendor and i'm going to pass in context okay so when this is done i'm going to create a new um this is the product this is the category now this one is the vendor okay so i could just drop comments here so you guys understand what's going on and this is the this one is the home page this is the home page okay so for the vendor now i'm just going to pass in path and over there i'm just going to pass in vendor vendor slash and this one is going to be views dot vendor list view so this is going to be views dot let's make sure that we are getting this okay so as you can see this is what we are importing over here but this is not actually what i wanted okay what we could just do is call the vendor list view and it's going to import it for us over there cool now I'm gonna say name should be equal to vendor dash list. Okay, so this is pretty much what I want. Now if I come over here, okay, I think we need to create the templates vendor list HTML so we don't get any error. Now just down here in the core, I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna create a new one vendor list HTML. Now if we come over here now and come over to slash vendor, okay, that's what we've got. And we just need to pass in an S over here. Vendors, wait for a server to run. That's running. So now what do you notice? This is what we got. So from the template, we need to look for vendor list. So open up vendor list, copy all the whole code that we've got in there. And you want to paste it in the vendor list, the HTML that we've got over here. And um, from any of those templates, the category lists, I'm just going to copy this over here that we've got at the top. And I'm going to put it for the vendor. Uh oh, there's a, there's a problem. So I'm going to close this off and I'm going to search for the header. This is it over here. I'm going to close this one off also. And we need to go all the way to the top and I'm going to paste this. Okay. So now I'm going to copy just the block content and I'm going to remove from, from the footer all the way to the bottom and I'm going to paste that. And uh, just over here, we're going to end block content. So I'm going to say end block content. So now if we refresh, there is a problem. It says that. Okay, we need to let's refresh one more time. As you can see, it's working. So we need to go ahead and change up all this dummy field over here and put the field, the data that is supposed to be there. So let's start with the first vendor, which is Nature Food. So I'm gonna search for Nature Food, and that's it. I'm just gonna um, minimize this from here. I'm gonna minimize this, this, this one, that one, this do it and i think this should be the last one uh oh that's not the last one that's that was the last one okay so remove all this and just stick with only one okay uh oh 
I'm gonna remove all this and I, I wanna stick with only one. So let's refresh. And I think we still stuck with two. So we need to get rid of one more and we should be done. So over here, I'm just gonna get rid of this one. Okay, so right now we just gotta add four before we go ahead and run the for loop. But take notes, it's not composite that you need to do that before and what you could do anyone before the other one, which means you could do for V in vendor before ending four, or you could do either way. Okay. So let's see. Vendors. I'm just gonna make this vendors because it, it will be more than one vendor, okay? Now if I refresh this, we should we should see two vendors over here. Um no vendor is showing up. Vendors, and I'm gonna get back to the to the vendor list. Okay, this is supposed to be vendors. Okay, now with this, now if we come over here and refresh, we should see two vendors. So that's it. Now let's go ahead and start changing out all the dummy data for all the vendors that we've got. So we're gonna be starting from here for this one. I'm gonna say v dot image dot url. And for 380 products, I just need to get how many products that a vendor have created. And in order to get that, so remember we've done this from the last video. I want you guys to do this yourself, but don't worry. I'm just going to go ahead and help you out with that. So in the, in the class vendor, remember we added this related name category. I also want to add a related underscore name. And that one is going to be vendor. Okay. So I think I missed something. I, I missed something from the last video. I didn't explain what I use this related name to do. Um, hopefully I'm gonna explain it now. So this vendor keyword over here is what we're gonna copy. Now this vendor is linking this product to the vendor, to the vendor model. So what we're simply need to do is call instead of v dot whatever, we're just gonna say v dot vendor dot all. So v dot vendor is this vendor now is just something like product, okay? So product. Now I'm taking notes. What we could just do is in the model over here, we could just call this this vendor over here products. Take notes. We call those products. You call it vendor, whatever you want, it's totally up to you. Now, if we call it that and we come over here and say v dot products dot all and we refresh this now. What do you notice? We got all this. We got a query set of this. Now what we simply need to do is add the dot count. Okay. So with the dot count, as you can see now, it says two and one. So this should be products okay now we need to change the dates joined and all that so this one is going to be v dot date and let's see okay there is no date for that i'm gonna i'm gonna head back to the model and look for the vendor this is the this is the vendor over here uh oh we ain't got no date for this so we need to add the date i'm gonna say date should be equal to models so this should be models dot date time field and auto now add should be equal to true auto now underscore add um, now underscore add should be equal to true and because there are other product vendors that have been existing before I'm just gonna put null should be true and blank should be true okay so with this now I think that's pretty much what we want to do let's see if there's something else that we'd want to add in since okay I think that's pretty much it now I'm just gonna go ahead and make migrations and also migrate again so from over here, I'm going to say Python manage to py make migrations and um, that's going to make a migration for us. And I'm also going to Python manage to py migrate and that should migrate it for us. So with that being done, if we come over here and refresh, we should see a very long date over here now. So what we need to do is go ahead and just get only the year. So we need to fill that is by date and year. So if you pass in Y, it's going to get only the year. If you pass in D, it's going to get in only the day. And you want to feel that it's just like this, okay? So now we need to pass in the name of the vendor. And the name of the vendor, as you know, is V. That's title. It does nest nestlify your destiny, whatever. That's the vendor's name. That's what's going to go in there. And also for this one, this is going to be ad the address of the vendor, right? So this one is going to be V. Address. And this one is going to be V. Contact. V. Dot contact okay so when this is done i'm just going to come over here and refresh now there's everything that we've got and the visit store so for the visit store we can actually just push that all the way down to the next line okay i think that's that's going to be over there so there's no problem with that or uh, if you want you could even remove it from the div i could remove it from this div over here i think that should go all the way to the next line simple as that if that's what you want i'm just going to say br so we give this some space. Okay. 
So now if you want to visit the store, that won't be now because we're going to be doing that in the next video. Now what I'm just going to look for over here is the mall and also the rating. We haven't done the rating for the vendor. We're going to be doing all this later. And um, I'm going to look for more. Just going to comment that out. I don't need anything. For that. I don't need anything like that for now. So I think that's going to be it for the vendor list. And okay, okay also we, have, we need to count the vendors. So we have 780 vendors now. But that's not actually true. We need to change that. So over here, I'm just going to say vendors.count. So vendors.count. And you see, it's going to say we have two vendors down. And also, we need to automatically get the plural of vendor. And for that, I'm just going to say pluralize just like this. And now if we refresh this, what do you notice? We have two vendors now. So I think that's pretty much gonna be it for this video do make sure to drop a like consider subscribing as it really mean the world to me and in the next video we're gonna go ahead and start working with the detail view and that's really gonna be amazing drop a like consider subscribing and also if you want to get a template check out the link in the description below and on to the next video mad love peace out